Okay, hi everyone, this is Electrosil. I just wanted to show you uh, what the uranium uh, decay series looks like. Uh, I got this from Wikipedia. There's the address down here. Um, basically, uranium decays to thorium, which decays to radium, and then to radon, and so on and so forth. And starting here, this is what really interests us, because radon is a gas. It, uh, it's eight times as heavy as air and it has a half-life of 3.8 days so if it somehow ma manages to make it into the uh, jet stream it would travel quite a bit um, and it would have time uh, to still pack a, a punch radioactively speaking uh, because it, you know it, it, it survives quite a bit of time so let's say f the source is let's say Fukushima and it takes six or seven days uh, to travel on the uh, jet stream I mean it will only lose maybe about half of its punch and then when it decays it decays to polonium uh, 218 which is only 3.1 minutes and it emits an alpha particle and then it decays to lead uh, 214 which has a half-life of 28 26.8 minutes and then it decays again uh, this time emitting an electron a beta particle to uh, bismuth uh, and then it has a half-life of 20 minutes and then becomes polonium or it could become uh, thallium and then eventually depending on which of the two routes it took and it's totally random it's statistical uh, which route it will take uh, it becomes somewhat more stable lead 22.3 years so when a radon uh, atom decays this part here happens quite quickly and this is what I believe I'm measuring and then when it decays down to uh, radioactive lead well, 22.3 years is a long time, so this is why my wipes appear not radioactive at all, because this radioactivity is, takes 22.3 years. So basically, you could uh, say that here you got all this very quick decay chain going, and then once it hits lead, then it takes forever for it to decay again, and th this is why I'm just not seeing it in my wipes. It's there, if this is radon. Uh, progeny that I'm actually uh, picking up with my wipes and um, so I just wanted to show you this and I think um, I think it explains a lot now if you add up polonium lead and, and you add up the chain whether you go this way or that way look at this one it's uh, 1643 microseconds uh, this is very very short so basically boom 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 uh, and then it's lead right and with thallium it's 1.3 minutes so if you add it all up I come up with uh, something like 50.1 minutes now that's a little longer than my half-life that I'm measuring in my wipes but you have to remember all these particles here are all highly charged after their decay so they would bind to whatever's up in the atmosphere whether it be a dust particle a, uh, a water droplet and so I think the washout is probably selective so sometimes in my wipes I may get a bit more lead and less bismuth or vice versa and this is why I get some variability from day to day or from rain to rain um, because of, 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 of the this nature of the you know the charged particles not washing down linearly uh, the same all the time so it explains a lot but do I know this for a fact no but it's the best explanation I've found so far so just wanted to show that